and welcome back to another episode of Big Movie Mouth Off. We are here at Bruvy Cinema Pub, sweet home away from home, uh, to review more <laughs> movies for you. I'm Jeff Ice with Cinephile. And I'm Jimmy Martin with KUTV. You can find Big Movie Mouth Off on Xfinity Channel 6, also on their on-demand system. That's Channel 1, mm -hmm. on their Utah on-demand uh, Salt Lake Alternative. Big Movie Mouth Off, just right there. Tons of reviews, both old and new. You can also find our reviews on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash bigmoviemouthoff. They're all right there for your needs. And uh, also, as we go into the uh, summer movie season, free passes. Come <gasps> come watch the movies with us. We'll give them to you for free. Don't cost you nothing. And uh, join us for the fun. And uh, speaking of one of those movies that we gave away passes to, we gave passes away to this one. Brick Mansions. It's the final big screen feature with Paul Walker. Oh. Well, the, first, the last one he completed uh, before his tragic death in an auto accident. Uh, this is essentially a remake of the French language 2004 action slash science fiction thriller District B13. Yep. Uh, Luc Besson, by the way, still credited as producer and screenwriter, Just right. brought, al brought along his <laughs> favorite editor, Camille Delamar, to direct this version, which also returns one of the stars, David Bell. What? Get him! David Bell, the guy who invented parkour. That's pretty cool. Who reprises his role, sort of, but Paul Walker's the star. Detective, there's a situation that demands the best of the best. Brick mansions. It's so dangerous, we built a wall around it. No one gets in. Now their leaders got the mayor and half the city hostage. I say we start the bidding at 30 million. I think you can handle it? Yeah. Ah! Handle needs handle. He's a Detroit co undercover cop who'd like to bust this slum lord slash drug lord who's ruling what are called brick mansions in sort of futuristic Detroit. And they're 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 walled in. Yeah, they're they're walled in just like in the original. Yep. Uh that drug lord, by the way, is played by the Rizza. Rizza! By the Rizza. <laughs> uh if Paul Walker's gonna get in, he's gonna need a partner. Finds one in an ex-con played by David Bell. Just running on walls and swinging on pipes. Yep. That's what those parkour kids do these days. They do. They'd like to get in. David Bell's character would like to rescue his kidnapped ex-girlfriend. Sure. But then they find out there's a crunch against time because Riz has got... A neutron bomb. Neutron bomb. <laughs> and, as they say, wackiness ensues. Now, yeah. here's the thing I'm going to say. Just like District B-13, by the way, District B-13 was 81 minutes. This is 90 minutes, okay. not appreciably longer. Not too much bad, not too much. Sure, there's a lot of ridiculous dialogue and setup. Sure. But I appreciate a film, knows it's dumb, dispenses with the plot, and gets with the action. Uh, yeah, we like running around, we like jumping, we like kicking ass and, and having fun. And this film, I think, delivers. Is it as good as District B-13? No. No. I would but, say no. But... But, Paul Walker sort, See, of, sort of acquits himself in several respects. The thing with Paul Walker is, you know, like, you know, I, uh, you know, tragic death aside, uh -huh. was he a great actor? No. Eh, not really, but he knew his place in the world. You right? Know? He was the Fast and the Furious guy. He's the, the Keanu Reeves of, like, the 2000 era of, like, you know, the, you, you almost he, want he, to, he, He's the bleach blonde. The bleach blonde server dude who's, like, cop, you know. Got it. You know, and that's, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, if, that's, if, if he embraced it and made millions out of it, go for it. You know, that's nothing to, to shake your finger at. Right. So my my problem was, is because I, I love when I watched the trailer for this. I didn't know anything about it. I was like, oh, Brick, Brick Mansions. What's that? Paul Walker got it. Uh -huh. And I'm watching this trailer. I go, wait a second. I've seen this before. What is this? This is District B13. <laughs> and so I will say this, because I actually watched it. I don't know if I should or shouldn't have, but I watched District B-13 about three hours before I went to go see Brick Mansions. Just to just, just compare. Right. And I'll say this. The, the pairing of the, of the two French guys together, mm -hmm. the, 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 the character that Paul Walker was playing in, in, in the original could also do the parkour, with, could also fight very gracefully, just like David Bell. And so then you, you kind of flip the page, and now you've got Paul Walker in that role, who's not graceful in the slightest, punch through a wall, you know, that kind of thing. You know, if he can grapple a little bit. Right. But, like, you know, it kind of... I like the gracefulness of the original compared to the, like, you know, watching David Bell run up a wall and then Paul Walker going, oh, I don't know. How do you do that? <laughs> How do and, you then, do? and then just, like, fall through the ceiling or something, you know. 
it's 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 the graceful versus America, you know, America. You know, right. let, let's just punch something, you know, because we can't. Because I can't figure out how you did that, so I'm gonna punch the wall. Is basically how that of this whole movie is. Um, you know, it, it's fun. It's shooty up. I would say go watch District B13 over this one. Yeah. Because first of all, it's on Netflix streaming. Right. So, but, so but that's what I did. But but one of the reasons why I'm actually giving uh, Brick Mansion sort of a recommendation is sure. it might introduce people to District B13. Sure, absolutely. And, and and to David Bell again, who credited as the originator of parkour. Which, if, in case you're wondering what parkour is, it's a style of what they call urban gymnastics. It's that, fancy running. Yeah, that 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 you'll free, free running. Also, free running. That that you'll see in things like the uh, Daniel Craig James Bond films actually is quite. The, a bit the Casino of, Royale, yeah, absolutely. Pa- parkour see, in them now. And that's what's funny. And to give District B13 even a, a more uh, you know elevated boost, um, I watched that film. Gosh, eight nine years ago. And, and I watched it in the opening scene. And the opening scene of uh, uh, Brick Mansions, too, are both phenomenal. Because it's just David Bell and both of them doing his parkour thing. And it's fantastic. You're just like, ten, how can a guy ten, do this? Ten years later, he can still yeah, do that. Yeah, he can still do it. So, that, you know, I watched those and my mind was blown. And then, like, a week later, I went to go see Casino Royale, which has a fantastic parkour scene in the beginning of it. I go, yeah, District B-13 is better. Yeah, I saw it. I saw, <laughs> saw it already. Um, that, dive through the, that dive through the window of a door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's some great action in it, you know. Uh, I, I, I kind of after I saw Brick Mansion, I was like, I probably should have watched this. Should be thirteen so close. No, to no, it. no, 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 no. But it's it's is it a good Bond voyage to to Paul Walker? Yeah, it, you know, it, it's it, all right. It, it, it's decent. It's what he did you exactly, know? and it's ninety minutes long. Yeah, it it gets in, it gets out. It, it, you know, it's it's one of those films like I always say: turn your brain off, eat your popcorn, and enjoy it ab- because ab- absolutely you're not getting Oscar performances. You're not, you know, it's you're not going to walk away with any, any morale issues. And you're like, wow, I don't know what to think about the world now. No, you're fine. David and uh, um, Paul remind me of like Tango and Cats, but this film has those elements, you know what I mean? And then with all the action and the acrobats and the flipping, and with me giving you some cool sinisterness, I think this film is going to be a big fun popcorn po- popcorn film. It's more like, how'd that guy run up that wall so fast? Yeah. That's pretty much it. I'm intrigued. Maybe I'll go watch that District B13 now. Do uh, it. Two and a half for me, Jimmy. Yeah, I think I'm I'm about there. I'll join you. Because I, I was thinking two. But yeah, yeah. two and a half. It, it, it is what it is. And and again, 90 minutes over. A lot worse final films out there. Yeah. The, yeah, that's absolutely true. Yeah, like Street Fighter for Ralph for <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I always feel bad at the end of Street Fighter. It just has for Ralph. And I'm like, oh. Oh, because this one does it. I actually was wondering. I go, is this going to say for Paul Walker? It does, you know. And it's it's one of those sign offs. And it's you know, it was fun. It was fun having you here while we did. Exactly. So uh, that'll do it. Two and a half stars from both sides. Go check out Brick Mansions. You'll you'll see some cool parkour. And again, I hope it influences you to go watch and read. It's okay to read subtitles, folks. Mm-hmm. Uh, District B thirteen. Yeah. Oh, and, oh, and I will say this. Brick Mansions is better than the District B-13 sequel, Ultimatum. Oh, I never saw that one. Yeah. Well, good job, Brick Mansions. This is going to be a lot of fun. Turn down the What you doing here? Let's go! Who taught you how to fight? Who taught you how to speak English? So what, you the new sheriff in town? It's got to make you a little bit anxious. This is a really bad idea. Ah! All right, that's going to do it for this episode of Big Movie Mouth Off. We'll be reviewing more films for you all summer long. Big ones coming. I know The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is on the way. I'm just curious to see what this kid's going to think. Because we have very different <laughs> different opinions it's on the first one. <laughs> so uh, join us here at Brewery Cinema Pub. Big Movie Mouth Off. We'll catch you next time.